she's had a gold-selling debut, DJed around the world, received a Brit Award nomination, and has been featured on magazine covers and television shows. For Little Boots, it all started when she filmed a cover version created in her bedroom. I did one, filmed it for a joke one time, and it just became this whole thing. And... Now she has over 20,000 subscribers and over 16 million video views. With a new album called Nocturnes out this month, the UK singer Little Boots is set to reach even greater heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the YouTube FanFest stage, Little Boots.
Well, you know, we've got a lot of YouTube stars here with us this evening, and I think you're, you're one of the few that's traveled the farthest all the way from the United <laughs> Kingdom, so it's a real honor to have you here. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, I was making actually this in Sentosa, so it wasn't that far. Okay. <laughs> Well, listen, just to remind everybody right now, we are still live. We are streaming on youtube.com forward slash fanfest. You still out there, Singapore? Good, good. And it's glad to, I'm glad to hear that everybody is uh, still tuned in. Wherever you are watching around the world, thank you very much. Little Boots right here. So let's just get right into the crux of it, okay? Mm -hmm. There you are in your PJs. Do you remember that? Yeah, really embarrassing pyjamas. No, uh, really? The PJs, <laughs> they pyjamas. Had, they, were blue and they had monkeys on. They well, were you know not what? Cool. But you have to credit them. You have to credit them because that's where it all began. Talk us through the humble beginnings of Little Boots. Well, I was, um, I was just kind of making music at home in my bedroom and I started putting videos on YouTube, some covers, some of my own songs I'd written just for a joke, really. Like sometimes my friend would do it with me or just like silly kind of songs and people started watching them and sharing them and then um, I got featured on the YouTube homepage and the next day 50,000 people had seen one of my videos. The one Incredible. with the really embarrassing pajamas. Incredible. <laughs> so you're one of the few, I mean, you know, we have a lot of musicians that are obviously, uh, you know, up there in the ranks of uh, YouTube superstardom mm -hmm. who actually were wanting to go out there and show on the world what they were capable of musically, but you just did it for a laugh. Well, I mean, I've, I've been, you know, making music for my whole life, and mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to be a musician and a performer for a career, but I probably wouldn't have thought videos in my pajamas were the way to do it. But who knows, you know, everyone has a different way, and that's what's the amazing thing about YouTube is, you know, whatever your thing is, there's probably someone out there who wants to watch it. Right now, we're at uh, approximately 16 million views and counting. It just keeps, uh, your stock keeps going up and up and up. And now, you're in the dizzy heights of, you know, international superstardom. You're, you're doing TV chat shows. You're on the front covers of magazines. You're being interviewed by press from everywhere. As, and that's just all fallen into your lap. Did you ever take a minute to sort of step back and go, whoa, I was not expecting this? <laughs> Yeah, it's completely crazy. Um, but I'm just so happy that I get to, you know, the most important thing for me is music, is writing songs, performing them to people who want to hear them. And that never stops being the most important thing, whatever else happens. Oh, well, let's, talk, let's touch on your music for a second then. Where, where do you draw your inspiration? What is it that you're, you're the message, if you like, your music is conveying? Um, I just try and get a lot of my personality into it. And um, I mean, the new album that's just come out, there's a lot of disco um, influences, a lot of old house music references. So it's dance pop, but it's trying to be original and sound, not sound like anybody else. So we have lots of old synthesizers and equipment, and we try and make a really cool sound that you want to dance to, but also it's maybe emotional or makes sure. you think as well. All right, and, and your accent, whereabouts in the UK are you from? I'm um, originally from Blackpool in the north, but unfortunately my... <laughs> that poor fancy. Unfortunately, my northern accent has been buried with London, so I live with in London. London now. Okay, yeah. so let's let's talk about that a little bit. When you're not busy on YouTube, when you're not busy in uh, you know getting interviewed and whatnot, and answering your fans' comments and mail and whatnot, who is Little Boots when she's not working? Victoria, someone knows. There you um, go. Oh, it's so nice to see okay. some people who know me already in Singapore. It's so nice. Hi guys. Are you kidding? Thank you so much. Are you kidding me? Wow. You're surprised? Are you kidding? You've got a massive fan base out oh, here in Southeast it's Asia. It's so awesome to come here and, and just like people, I saw some people sing along to the words and yep. we've never played live here before, so it's awesome. Hopefully people are singing along at home too on YouTube, watching YouTube. I'm sure they are. I'm sure that they are. Have you got friends? Did you tell them about this? Have you told them, listen, I'm going to be out in the Far East. I'm going to be in Singapore. Be sure to tune in. Yeah, I've been telling my fans on Twitter and I had to work out the time zones for where everyone was sure. compared to here. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they should be awake. So that's okay. good. So a day in the life. Yep. of you. You oh, wake God. up, what do you do? There's no one day. Usually we're going to an airport to go somewhere. Uh, we've just finished a tour of America, a really busy tour. Um, the week before that I was in Japan doing promotion. Uh, we've just done some gigs in England, then we're here. I'm DJing in Hong Kong next week. So Sweet. Yeah, all over. There's no one day. It's always crazy. Or sleeping. Crazy or sleeping. One of the two. One of the two. No, crazy. Not at the same time. No, no crazy. <laughs> crazy sleeping. <laughs> okay, so... 
A new album is mm. in the pipeline. It's Talk, just come out, yeah. It's just come out. Mm -hmm. Talk us through your new album. Let the fans know where they get their hands on it. Um, it's, it's called about. Nocturnes. I think it's getting released in Asia on Hostess Records. It's actually on my own record label, which I've just set up, called On Repeat. Um, which is really exciting for me. I'm really enjoying being the label boss as well as the artist. So I'm my own boss now. <laughs> um, so that's a lot of fun, but a lot of hard work. And um, yeah, it's just come out. Um, I did it with um, Tim Goldsworthy, produced it, who was one of the original DFA Records yep. guys. He's an amazing producer. And it's very danceable. There's a lot of, like I was saying, a lot of old disco and house references. But it's also got a lot of stories and emotions and stuff. So it's not just a dance record. You know, it's a lot more than that, I hope. And before all of this, was that what you were into? Would you go out clubbing? Would you go dancing? Is that where you draw some of your inspiration from? Well, I've been a DJ for quite a long time, so I DJ like as well as playing live. Um, and I started to DJ a lot more over the last couple of years, so I think that really fed into the album sound, you know, being out and hearing other DJs and seeing what people were dancing to. That really fed into the sound of the new album. Which do you prefer, DJing? Sorry. Am I right in saying that, or is it spinning? I think that's the, that, is that <laughs> what they call it? I would definitely say DJ. <laughs> you, you really? You prefer that? Yeah. Why? Then spinning? Yeah. Spinning sounds like one of those classes on bikes or okay, something. Okay, so we'll call it DJ. We'll call it DJ. All right, so you prefer DJ or singing? Sing, well, not singing. I guess it's like the whole of performing live. It's right. just, you know, we put a lot of time into it. This isn't our, our full show, but normally um, we have a whole band, live drums, sure. and we put a lot of effort into it, and it really pays back. It's, you know, a... a a lot of me goes into it when I play sure. live and sing. So, yeah, definitely that. Absolutely. Well, judging by the, the, the rapturous response that we've had here this evening, indeed, throughout the course of the last two days at YouTube FanFest, fancy touring Southeast Asia anytime soon? I would love to. If you guys want me, I will come. I think so. But, I mean, you, obviously, you've got to clear some time in your very hectic schedule. <laughs> um, but I think, uh, I think we'd welcome you out here, I think, you know? I, I would think, love it, uh, yeah. I mean, I've been out here to DJ before, but this is the first time well, I've played Well, you know what? I don't know what, I don't know what you guys think of us out in the UK. We've got plenty of clubs out here, plenty of places that you can go party. And I know that a lot of you guys like to go out and party. It'd be great to see Little Boots spin, excuse me, DJ at one of those clubs, if not all of them, if not all of them. Okay, one last thing. Okay. To a lot of budding musicians, because that's what uh, many of the audience are out here. Cool. Budding musicians who have now, who are now trying to launch themselves on the YouTube platform. Some advice for them, you know, because it's a big, big world out there. Lots and lots of users, and it's, it can be very Im intimidating. Mm. What's the one piece of advice you give them? I think even since I started doing it, there's been there's so many people who put covers online, who you know make record videos of themselves performing in their bedrooms or whatever. And um, some people are still successful at that, but there's so many people doing it that you've got to stand out, you've got to be original, and you've got to think what is your unique thing that no one else has that people are going to want to watch. Excellent. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that just about does it here for me and Little Boots on stage. Give it up for Little Boots right now. The awesome music that she was performing. And of course, we hope to see you back in Southeast Asia, not soon before long, DJing, singing, or otherwise. Thank you so very, very much. Little Boots! Yeah, thank you, guys. And you know what? That just about does it for our program here on YouTube Fan Fest, powered by HP for 2013. Once again, thank you all very much, Singapore. You guys have been a terrific, terrific audience. Seriously, and to everybody watching all over the world who have tuned in for this, thank you very much. At the end of the day, without you, none of this would have been made possible. Once again, thank you also to the very awesome people at Hewlett Packard HP. Give it up for them right now. And if you thought this year was awesome, wait until you see us back next year for some more. Until then, though, thank you very much, and good night. Kimchi like a man. When you first hear of a zombie outbreak, No, you're fine. I'm the king of YouTube.
在。